So in this video, we are going to learn how to download Scratch onto your computer, onto your system so that you can access it uh, when you are not connected to the internet as well. So to do that, I will just type in the address bar download Scratch for Windows. let me just so it takes me to here and it says scratch offline editor scratch let me click on that takes me to the scratch website we can see it here scratch.mit.edu and according to what your system is you have to click on so if you are on a windows system you have to choose your os as windows uh, if it is others then these will also be activated so right now the site is detecting that i am using a windows computer so it's only giving me the option of choosing windows so i will click on windows here and say direct download now here it is downloading the setup it is taking quite a while uh, to download so let us just wait for it to download yes guys so the scratch 3.23.1 setup.exe is ready now to access that i can directly access it from here or go to downloads and access it but i'll, I'll prefer to access it from here i'm running the setup now so let us see it's running so just choose like this is where your scratch setup file is it is in the c drive and say run so the installation option gives you anyone who uses this computer or only for me student i'll just use anyone who uses this computer and install oh it is asking me to give a user admin name and password I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So it is getting installed now. So you can see the progress bar. And say finish and run scratch. So automatically the scratch window is open here you're getting the same screen that you saw on the online editor but this time it is on your computer so okay so do not share my usage with the scratch team and this is my offline editor that we have here it's separate from it's not in a browser but on your computer so you can access it uh, while you are uh, using your computer without the use of without the need for internet so let's move on to the next video and in the next video we will try to understand this interface and uh, learn more about it in detail